Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Toy Time P, and this is our episode of New Home Reacts. So, today, I got for you guys, uh, top five planters. I guess we could consider these, uh, planting setups, since I do have a tractor with all of them. And, this Vergarious map is Griffin, Indiana, all platforms map. And, everything I'm showing you today is all platforms, so PS4, Xbox players. You can use these. And these are primarily a U.S. Well, actually, all of them are U.S. style uh, planter setups. Nothing European here. So, if you want European setups, this is not the video. But, let's begin. So, first up, I have a pretty small setup. Maybe you're running, like, a small, a small farm and you just need a very small planter. Well, here we are. This is the 7000 series a John Deere planter by Swoosha is modding. The 6 meters are equivalent of 6 rows. Uh, it has a 360 liter capacity of seed. And then the rest of that will be in fertilizer. It is solid. Um, the tractor I have with it is one I think we did talk about a lot on my channel. Uh, this is the 40 series by... Uh, Black Sheep Modding. Very nice tractor. This has the uh, U.S. style on it. Very awesome, indeed. This is a very nice planting setup, indeed. So, I'll show... We aren't going to go over tractors, but I will show you the planter in the store. This is the planter in the store. Now, you just get the seeds on it. Put on them fertilizer tanks. And then you do have an option. You can get it used. Or used to. You need to change the color of the tanks up if you want to. So that's planting setup number one. Planting setup number two is exactly for you guys who have not a large farm, not a small farm, but medium farm. These are the 12 row planters. Now, uh, the tractors here are the AR series US by custom modding and also the Dimco tanks by custom modding. And, and then the planters, this is the a 1725C a 12 row planter. It's by LR Modding. Again, we've talked about this previously. And then the other one's by JHHG Modding. Very famous for his planters. And this is the 1720-2012 series stack planter. So let's go over LR Moddings real quick. So. <laughs> Uh, this is very simple. It does not have any, like, uh, uh, fertilizer addition. It only has seeds. And that goes in that big tank. And there it is folding out. It does your 12 rows. So, perfect for harvesting either with a 12 row corn head or a 6 row corn head. Uh, let that ruler real quick. And there you go. And then this is, a. Uh, let me show you this planter in the store real quick. There is no customization with it. It is uh, just stock with it. There you go. $163,000. <laughs> and then this is its cover. Take off the cover. You're just going to do that. See, look. Very nice realistic cover animation. Now, this is uh, twelve. This is the other 12 row by uh, JHHG Modding. And we'll take a look at it. And when it folds, it'll just go up that. It can fit in most sheds. So, let's go look at this planter in store. Now, this planter has uh, quite a few customizations with it, specifically in tank configurations. So, based off, you just get these uh, small 677 liter uh, tanks. It requires 190 horsepower to use. You get liquid fertilizer set up. You're going to need uh, Dimco's for those, I believe. You're going to need uh, no Dimco tanks for those. This setup you will need your Dimco's for. Uh, as you see now, we have like your uh, two separates. It won't change anything. It'll just, I think, improves your yield. If you want to do cover top. Uh, you see, it, it goes very specific, and then you just get these long boxes. The long box is personally my favorite, since you can hold a lot of stuff with that. Now, for cleaner discs, you can get a standard, 
uh, no till cleaners or no if you don't want any of those. Attachers if you want to transport a tank with you. Comedal, uh, Y tires, tire setups, those do. There we are. Here at number three, this is definitely for Driver 53. Now, let's say you are a Case IH fanboy. Uh, this is a setup for you. Now, the tractor is made by uh, Caserius Modding. It's the 2008-1998 series Case Tractors, and there's a 2008 series. But this is a planter. It's also made by Custom Modding. It is the 2150 early riser planters. This is the 16 row configuration, but there is a 12 row. And it's a very customizable, highly detailed planter. So let's go look at it in store. So in store, uh, you have the 12 row or the 16 row. So you can either get a, a hydraulic oil cooler. Uh, you can put a number on it. And that will go up to 18. Uh, a rear hitch. Supplement buckets. These won't do anything but just detail. A scale. Uh, either tires or tracks. Uh, you put weights on it. Or you put on the uh, row charts. Put on the smart box. And now this is how your planter will be set up. So you have your basic stock, stock fill, on row hoppers, on row hoppers with a liquid tank, the bulk fill with the liquid hopper, and then two extra liquid hoppers. So that's number four. And now finally at number five for you big boys, this is Custom Mining's 8RT with JHHG's Mining DB60 planter. Now this is a this is a 24 row planter, perfect for large farmers, and I'm gonna go over it. So it's a very very well done detailed. Uh, show you the cover animation. I really love the cover animation. And let's go over this in store. So, um, DB60 24 row 30 inch. Now, you can just have your basic tanks, put on a Refridge Plus tank, put on a liquid tank, and that's a configuration for both, or, you know, just get the liquid tank separate. Michelin, you get a uh, Michelin, and Michelin you get a uh, wide, or standard. Trollborg is basic wide tires. And a John Deere, or Goodyear, will be your track configurations I believe yep now light configurations if you need like a working light that's what it does put on the working light for you uh, cleaner roll disc same thing with the 12 row printers uh, you can get the no tails or standard no you have to have uh, tillers on them attacher you can put on a rear hitch GPS this won't do anything but detail there's 3,000 series, 6,000 series. Bridge markers, yes or no. Uh, Ufal conveyor. Now, this will easily put in seeds up in there for you. And wheel weight covers, uh, yes, wing, will, or no. So, that's it for you guys. That is what I have for you today. These are the planters I would use on US maps. Hopefully, you guys have a great day and... Yep, just have a good day. <laughs>